Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the PTA meeting. Um, next Friday, don't forget, is the canned food drive. Okay, everybody cool I, I want to bring something up really quick. Uh, sure. Sorry to interrupt, yes. but I'm also not sorry to interrupt. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware, um, but there is uh, music here in this library available to our kids uh, that is something that leaves a lot to be desired. It, it is just outrageous. Yeah, thank you. I think what, what Brendan is saying, um, and good job, honey, is that there are specific albums that absolutely should be banned from this preschool, like Mike and the Mechanics, which in my opinion is a horrible album and one that we do not want our child listening I'm to. I'm sorry, I'd just like to chime in here, but um, you're really overstepping your bounds here, okay? Uh, I, I, I don't want to cause a rift, but the living years, that was a single by Mike and the Mechanics. It's a great song. It's a, it's a prime example of mid 80s pop. What that is, is a gateway to, to other mediocre pop music. Yeah. The Living Years, that song is poetry. Don't you want your child to be sensitive? Okay, it's poetry in the same way The Greatest Love of All by Whitney Houston is poetry. It is pabulum. It is juvenile. They're accomplished musicians and really kind of honed their craft in the mid 80s. What does musicianship matter? Were the Sex Pistols, were the Ramones, were the Clash? Was that about musicianship? But no, it was about fury. I like the Clash. I'm sure you do. That's why she's teaching. Rock the Casbah, you know, the classics. Well, but there's earlier there's stuff. There's earlier than stuff. That. You know that, right? Oh, I do. I know. Okay. Like what? Should I stay or should I go now? Or is that yeah, no, the same, classic? Same album. It was the first one. So that's okay. the same album. That's Combat Rock. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. She probably likes uh, Rock and Roll High School by the Ramones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We all know that. Yeah. Sure. Let's be honest. We're not talking about our taste in music. We're talking about what our kids love, what our kids are into. Yeah. But our kids also don't really know what they like. Yet. Actually, they do. Because they can pick and choose whatever they like, and as soon as they From your record to... collection. Mm, yes, ma'am. Okay. You, you know, start small, like with Harry Nilsson, with some... Yes. Some simplicity, and he knows what I'm talking about. Let's well, talk about kraut rock. Let's talk about work. Noi. Why aren't we talking about noi? What is kraut rock? You, you don't know noi? I am sorry. I, you don't know noi. I am getting very stressed out that the head of our school does not know about noi. These are the people teaching our kids. Our kids are sponges, and when they leave here, what they listen to now will affect them the rest of their lives. Is this where uh, we're donating records? Yes, it is. Come on in. Got, oh, God, what do I got for you? Talk Talk, the Back to the Future soundtrack. Um, got Temple of the Dog. Um, I don't want my kids stealing bread. Um, no, oh, we're, we're good. Thank you very much. It's so nice of you. Thank you for donating. Thank you. Some other time. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. Love those unanimous votes. Fantastic. Okay, so next week is Gender Swap Day. 